Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decisions for your applications. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this covered pergola with a polycarbonate uh, cover. And let's go ahead and look at the um, overall dimensions, first of all. So overall dimensions I have here at 12 feet to the outside edge of the post here. I have center to center, 11 feet center to center. And then I have uh, 20, excuse me, 16 feet center uh, outside to outside edge um, and 15 center to center on the post here. Um, we do have a fan here in the middle. Now I've placed a fan here as an image, but the actual dimension they said was uh, 52 inches in diameter. So I have that 52 inches and I have it coming down at 36 inches from the ceiling centered in the patio. I have a total height here of 10 feet from the floor to the finished height of the uh, structure itself. And then you can see here we have this main beam coming across here at 10 inches and four at for the uh, pergola uh, pieces here. So um, let's go ahead and turn off the dimensions and look at what my recommendations might be. The um, client did ask for the CD 6024s, which I think would be a good option. Now I've placed these CD 6024s um, so that they are eight inches, um, excuse me, six inches away from this uh, beam here to this edge here. So if you looked at the clearances to combustibles on the above side of the heater, you're at six inches um, all the way from the left edge here, all the way up and around six inches to the right side. Now you see here that I did not attach the um, bracket. So what you'd want to do is get the extended bracket. If in fact the uh, beam here is actually 10 inches, you will need a two inch um, extended beam or excuse me, an extended bracket um, so that you are meeting the clearances um, at minimum that needs to have the bottom edge of the heater at the same height of the bottom edge of the beam. So um, the extended brackets come in um, the standard six inch clearance and then a extended two, four and six, H, uh, six uh, inch uh, extension. So I have this at the two inch extension um, height. So that's why you see it just below the uh, edge here. Um, now the clearance below, you'll see that we are meeting the clearances below with that extension. So that's why uh, we've done that. Now I'm gonna go back to the um, clearances around the fan here. So the fan blade here again is that uh, uh, 52 inches in diameter. So there's no issues with regards to that in the fact that the fan is in the center of the room. And the same uh, applies to this side here. No issues with clearances regarding that. Okay, and um, these heaters are centered within the patio itself. And let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. So footprint of heat, let me go ahead and turn off the, uh, the clearances and whatnot. Um, we have a very well covered patio section for each one of these seating positions. Now they did also say that this was a six inch long sofa. So that's about approximately six, six feet rather uh, sofas there. And we have really nice coverage throughout that whole span. Now the only thing they didn't bring up is the seating for the bar stool area here. And for that area, I would recommend something of the nature of a slimline unit, just because of the fact that the slimline is um, less intense. Number one, these are 6,000 watts uh, back here. This would be a either 4,000 or 3,000 watt unit. And now if the, um, I'll call these lattice here pieces, if they do come out this far, then what I've done here um, is I've taken this uh, bracket or this heater and I've mounted it to this the top. And um, actually I'm Missed that here a little bit. Let me just move that over a few inches and we'll get that over here. And then um, I have this at a 10 degree tilt. So 10 degrees out towards the seating position. That way you're heating up more of the seating position than you are of the uh, countertop itself. So, 
All right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful. We don't advertise or not monetize. YouTube does not promote us in any way unless we receive a thumbs up from our viewers, and we appreciate that so much. Also, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put that down below. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day.